famous feature at Chattanooga's Coolidge Park was built some 125 years ago, and the painted ponies have been keeping us entertained for many years. Here's John Martin with more in this week's Three in Your Town. This 1894 Dinsel Carousel is a central feature of Chattanooga's Coolidge Park. Since its opening, hundreds of thousands of people have ridden on any of the 52 whimsical hand-carved animals whilst listening to the tunes from its band organ. The project was spearheaded by Chattanooga craftsman Bud Ellis. Bud worked tirelessly with local, state, and federal officials to bring this carousel to life. On his opening in July of 1999, in a whirlwind of excitement, anxious kids and parents alike wanted to be some of the first to ride the newest tourist attraction. But the biggest smiles belong to the dozens of volunteers who work years on this project. I didn't think it would be so emotional, you know, but I really got tears in my eyes when I first started seeing it go around. Of course, maintaining this Chattanooga icon takes a lot of work. It's a good thing there's a man in Saudi Daisy who knows a thing or two about it. We're in beautiful downtown Saudi Daisy. Uh, this is a carousel carving school. We've been in business since 1985. Uh, Bud Ellis started the school in St. Elmo and we worked our way out to Saudi Daisy. Larry Ridge is the owner and operator of Horsin' Around on Dayton Pike. He's the man in charge now of keeping the Coolidge Carousel intact. Larry has a great appreciation for the culmination of everything and everyone who made Bud Ellis's dream come to fruition. If you go look at the animals that are down there, about 75% of the people that carved those animals had never carved before. Uh, they were uh, nurses, accountants, doctors, teachers, all kinds of different uh, business people. But most of them just wanted to get involved in a wonderful project. So they started from zero. They learned to carve and finish those animals and put them on the carousel in one pass. That was their learning curve. From his shop, Larry both rehabilitates and creates hand-carved carousel pieces for customers around the globe. He also teaches people from around the country who come to him how to carve. We teach people how to do things that they didn't think they could do before. Our motto is for ordinary people to do extraordinary things. It's a pretty self-explanatory motto based around a self-explanatory way of getting started in the field. We always say you can't screw it up so bad that we can't fix it. It's a craftsman family here at Horse and Around. It's not just a customer student scenario. Yesterday is a prime example a couple from Virginia that had finished a horse was on their way down into Alabama to visit their uh, granddaughter and they stopped by to visit us and bought us donuts and coffee. So, you know, just a casual sit down, how you doing, catch up, and then uh, they got back in the car and took off to Alabama. Nearly all of these pieces carved here will outlive those who created them, which is part of the reason Larry takes such ownership of the Coolidge carousel. If you look at the floor, uh, around all of the animals, there's a little bronze plaque, and it has the name of the carver, the name of the sponsor, and that'll be there for the next hundred years. So my wish is that my great-grandchildren can come down there and look at mine and see my name on the floor and know that that's part of their family heritage. 